Hey YouTube, how you guys doing today? Kevin here coming back at you. Yeah, I got a mess. I got stuff everywhere. I'm working on all kinds of crap. It's just been a really rough day. But I hope everybody's having a great Mother's Day today. And uh, my wife is with her mom and her sister. Um, I just did a video, but it did not come out at all. So now i got to do this again. Man, I got to get me a GoPro. Man, that's one of my next investments. Got to get me a camera that I can do these videos with because this is just getting crazy. Anyway, um, let me finish off where I, well, let me start over again. Um, on the seat, the seat right here, we had, um, I was trying to figure out how I'm going to do it. I'm just using a bungee, just a quick little bungee right here, and then I can lift it up. Really, the only thing I have to go on to here for is the oil because, as you can see, everything else has been ripped out. Needs a bath. So, I just basically flipped them over like that. And it's got two bungees. Pull them down and right where the latch was because this thing is not going to have any keys on it at all, period. And it's like that and then holds it down nicely. So, I located the grommet. I got the grommet in um, for the oil line that's connected. Um, I didn't adjust it yet, and I'm not going to do that just quite yet, because i got to um, set the throttle piece in first. But i got a fuel line running here. It goes up through the grommet right there. Make sure you use your grommets, people. Very important. And the gasket that goes around the cover. Um, i got the carburetor mounted on. The cable's onto it. Now when I use the, uh, the throttle up here, it actuates down bottom here. So that part's all set. i got the clutch on. The adjuster on there and it's all adjusted so we're good on the clutch so the only thing left we have to do is get a, um, a fuel filter and um, the bike actually has fuel in it and I got to put the spark plug back in so that's kind of where I'm off um, left off with this one for today um, I ended up finding another fuel tank in my um, collection of stuff which will work good on my other KE-102, uh, 100 build. So I have this tank right here, which is a nice tank. It's got a couple little dents right here, right here. And then there was one on this side someplace. But I don't have the key to this. So I, I can't take it off because I don't have the key. I actually have not seen inside this tank. So I'm probably going to do the same thing. I can't even get this thing. Oh, there it goes. Um, probably going to do the same thing with this, like I did this one. This one here, if you remember correctly, we um, opened it up. So basically, I'm kind of at the wrong angle for this. Um, basically, this one here, we took the dog out, as I remember showing you guys. And we um, locked up the uh, the cap on top. So now it's just the regular fuel cap. It just goes until it stops. And then we have this one right here. And I don't know, there's no key number on it. I don't remember the bike. I mean, I remember the bike it came off of. It's actually a very nice looking tank. A um, couple little dents and a couple of scratches. But other than that, it's a good tank. So, um, what I got to do is I got to find my keys. Because I have, um, well, bear with me for a minute. I'm just going to uh, see if I can go around. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. All right, so I got um, my trusty collection of motorcycle keys. Um, these are keys from bikes that I have scrapped, junked, or did other stuff with. So these keys don't go to anything. Other than these are my um, keys to unlock bikes. When I get a bike, chances are I have a key in here that I can finagle to unlock a lock. On very rare occasions, I can't. This one even has a pet cock on Look at that. Nice looking back up too. Okay. I uh, know it's not that style key because it would be a, uh, yeah, I wouldn't go in there. It's going to have that type of thing to it. So this is a Kawasaki key. Let's try this one. No, it fits in there way too loose. Which way does it go for lock? There's lock, and we can turn it to the right. Nope. Not that key. Alright. Nope, that's too thick. Try some of these newer style keys. Oh, that one didn't fit in there too well. Oh, oh look at that. Ha ha ha. Ooh. Got a little 
little spot right there, but other than that, man, she looks good in there. Let me get a flashlight, take a peek. Okay, got the flashlight, let's take a peek and see how bad this tank is. That is not bad at all. Look at that, you can see way the hell in there. Oh, that's great. That tank is actually in very, very, very good shape. Okay, I can't complain about that. All right, so now I've got another fuel tank. And I have a KE100 in storage that's missing a fuel tank. It's a white bike, but you know what? I'm okay with that. But I love these keys. One thing I'll never get rid of is my key collection. I build it. I keep building it. Because you never know when you get an ignition or you get a used bike and the keys are always missing. No, it's been sitting in my yard. I lost the keys to it. Eh, no problem. Here's the key to that one. Since this tank has no fuel in it. Period. It hasn't had fuel in it for a long time. I'm just going to leave the cap loose. Even the cap is in decent shape. There you go. Let's see like that. Now we're into that tank. Ha ha ha. Cool beans. Put that right up on top up here. Alright. Okay. Now, back on this bike. Alright. So, I got to get the, uh, tomorrow we're going to try firing this bike off. And, uh, thanks for hanging out with me on that, by the way. Um, yeah, I mean, it's craziness. So, we got the carburetors on, set. Um, I gotta get a plug for the, uh, oh, that was my knees, by the way. I gotta get a plug for right here. This is where your, um, what do you call it? What's that flashlight? Here it is. Right there, that hole, that circle. Um, that's the plug to get to the screw to remove the carburetor. That's that you take that little plug off, and that's how you get to it. Um, so we're gonna get a plug for that. <coughs> I need a fuel filter here, and one going up to the petcock, and then that's all set. We got bolt down the tank, and then that part's all done. So then, really, the only thing we're gonna have left after that's all said and done is. Let's see, we have to bolt down the tank, fuel filter and a little piece of line, no big deal. We got to put the covers on, I got the bolts right there, I got the covers. Um, we need a chain, we're going to be driving this bike no time, and then we got to do the tires. See right here, you can see the rim, see the rim where it's bent. We might try straightening that out where this is just going to be an off-road buggy. I'm not going to go too crazy with this thing. And then we got to fix the, um, where the speedometer cable hooks up to it. And adjust the, you can see how high that clutch cable, that clutch bar is sticking up. And then that's it. This thing's about ready to go. So this is going to be a fun little buggy. I'm going to put a price tag of 800 on it. Motor's great. Um, we've already gone through it. New clutch. Um, new gaskets. And, um, it's going to be a nice little off-road. So, I got two-stroke oil in it. I know, oh yeah, you know what I wanted to show you too? When you put two-stroke in these, um, this line right here is not going to quite fill up yet, okay? Um, you can use a... Yeah, it's got some oil on it. Yeah, it's going up. Oh, yeah, it filled up. Okay. Sometimes if they don't prime up on their own, you pull back this tube. And I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. There's a nut. Oh, not a nut, but a, um, a cap screw right there. Screw right there and up top there. See it right there? And you can access it through the hole. You take that off. That's the bleeder for it right there. And then you can see the throttle. Your throttle should be all the way down like that one. Make sure it's all seated in the cable. Put it right there. And then when you throttle. Whoop. Whoop. So. All good right there. So 
So this is the KDE um, build, and um, coming along quite nicely. I can't wait for it to be done, um, get it out of here, and um, buy more bikes. That's the plan. Buy more bikes. Keep getting the bikes coming. <coughs> so um, we're going to be doing some cool stuff coming up. So um, just want to get this one gone and out of here so we can put a price tag on it, get it all front, get it for sale. And uh, I'll move it, and um, it's going to be a nice little bike. So, But before I can do that, I have to test everything and make sure it stops, shifts, and um, starts up no problem. So that's pretty much it. It's got a pretty cool custom. Someone took some time and, and put a nice piece of leather over this thing, folded it really nicely. They did a really good job on this seat. It's not a factory seat, but it is wicked comfortable. Especially for an off-road bike. This is a nice, this is a comfortable seat. I got a couple of seats right there. And this one is comfortable. So, my cover collection is growing. So, air filters, battery boxes, covers and side lights, tail lights. I'm going to take this airplane down here. Yeah. But gauges and stuff and... The more we take apart, the more we get. Right, guys? So, we're going to be building some, some serious bikes pretty soon. Sorry about that. And, um, I got another head from a uh, an older 74 KE. The motor was roached out, but it had a lot of good parts. This is a Trail Boss motor, a 100 with the, um, what do you call it there? Um... 10 speed. Sorry, I'm just fighting this cold. Also, has some cool vintage shocks. But, uh, yep, we're going to be, um, after this bike is done, we're going to throw the exhaust on it, finish welding it up. This is the dummy bike for that. Then we're going to put a price tag, sell this one, get this out of here, put the original exhaust back on it, and then start working on the KE 102 build like I had talked to you guys previously about. And, um,. I gotta get this room back together because I got crap everywhere. I've been going through stuff, cleaning out stuff. I got rid of some of the stuff that was over there, repacked it back in with more stuff. And that stuff's for yard sales. So that stuff is gone. I kept the crank out of that motor, that roached out bike that I just picked up. The um this is the half crank, they separated the crank, but these are awesome cool paperweights. So we're gonna clean those up and uh, paint them up. So but just hanging out right now, see what's going on. Want to say happy Mother's Day to the women on the page, and um, and if, if you're not a mom, just have a great day. And I uh, just want to say thank you guys again for all your support. You guys have been absolutely awesome, and I really really appreciate it. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff coming up, a lot of stuff going on, and um, more and more new people. I'm up to 554 views, uh, um, subscribers, and I just thank you guys for your subscriptions. It means a lot to me, and. Um, so we got some crazy stuff going on. So we gotta get this thing buttoned up though. This thing's gotta go. We gotta get this out of here. We gotta bring we gotta put more racking up, more shelving. We're gonna do one over by the window there. And then right here where I'm standing, this is all coming out. We're gonna do two more here because I got this is nothing for parts. Nothing. You guys don't even know. It's craziness. So we got some stuff going on. So, thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe. Any questions, any comments, by all means, please send them my way. And uh, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.